Hello and welcome to the Trust Receipts video tutorial for EasyLaw. There are two types of trust, pooled or regular trust and interest-bearing trust. If you have not already done so, I recommend that you create separate general ledger account numbers for banks where you have both types of trust. I also recommend that whenever possible you enter trust receipts from your deposit book. When the total at the bottom of the screen matches the total in your deposit book, click Post. EasyLaw will update the Bank Reconciliation Program and General Ledger with a total deposit for the day, the same way the bank will update your bank statement, and this will make reconciling easier. Direct deposits should be entered separately. Make sure that you are entering trust receipts in compliance with the rules set out by the Bar Association or Law Society in your area. Trust receipts debit the trust bank account and credit the Client Funds and Trust Liability account. Click Enter Trust Receipts to proceed. In the upper right hand corner of the screen you have the option to print receipts and also a deposit slip. These must be selected before you save and post your entries. Receipts print when you save a transaction and a deposit slip prints when you post the batch. These options are available to those users who need them. Enter the trust bank account or press F5 to display a list to choose from. You can only enter trust for one bank at a time. Enter the date of your trust receipt or press enter for today's date. Select the client or press F5 to display a list to choose from. Optionally enter a reference number. Enter the receipt number or press enter to accept the next receipt number if automatic receipt numbering is enabled. Press enter through payment type to accept the default of check or press F5 to display a list to choose from. Enter a description of the receipt or press F5 to display a list to choose from. Click quick fill option to create auto text that will automatically insert in the description field. Press the space bar after entering a quick fill code to display the auto text related to a code. Enter the receipt amount. This will flip to a negative amount which is correct as trust is a liability. Enter R for regular trust or T for interest bearing trust. For interest bearing trust you can optionally enter the term deposit expiration date. If you do not enter a code the default is R. In Canadian versions of EasyLaw, and if your firm operates in British Columbia, the trust administration fee will display if set to charge to client. The default will be yes and you have the option to edit this as necessary. Click Save. Continue entering transactions until the total trust on the bottom right is equal to the total amount in the deposit book. You can access the unposted tab to edit and delete your transactions. Remember that you can exit without posting and continue entering transactions at a later time. Click Post to finish. Trust Receipts automatically defaults to enter noted above the Bank Account field, but you can also reverse previously posted trust receipts that have not been reconciled. Simply click Reverse, followed by the bank account, date, and client number, and then select the trust receipt to reverse. The entry will display on the screen where you have the option to specify the reversal date or leave the date the same as the original trust receipt, and then save the reversal. Thank you for watching the Trust Receipts video tutorial.